Hi, I'm John with Big Norris Coffee here to talk to you today about your Melita CT8. Some basic features of the Melita CT8 would be a one-step functionality, a hot water wand, a second bean type, and a fixed water and drain. Some optional features of the Melita CT8 would be a milk system, a powder chocolate system, a second bean type, and steam one with a temperature sensor. Now switching a machine on in the morning, there's a process that you follow. You touch the screen, and then you switch on, but yes. The machine's going to go through its switch on process, and when it's ready, you'll have your drink selection available. Now behind your front panel, you have an on off switch right here. But we don't use that on off switch. That stays on all the time. So at the end of the day, when we run our switch off process, cleaning and switch off, which I'll show later on, the machine will go into a standby mode. This switch here is only to be shut off during emergencies. So obviously keeping your machine full is part of the process. You're gonna need milk, you're gonna need beans. If you use chocolate, you're gonna to need to fill the chocolate hopper. So here's how you do this. This is where we store the milk. It's a refrigerator that keeps it cold between 36 and 40 degrees Fahrenheit. Once you have your gallon or container, you can have a container in here as well. You just wanna take your milk stem, which is basically a tube, insert it, and that'll go to the bottom. You shut the refrigerator. You have a temperature readout here. This one's in Celsius. For beans, it's very simple. You pull the top and you fill regular and decaf. On this machine, we have it set up so regular is on the left side. If you're going to fill chocolate, in the back of this is your chocolate hopper. So you, same thing, pull the top off. This is the lid. Fill it with the powder and then put the lid back on. You can also pull that out if you want to. Uh, if you don't want to get powder everywhere, you can pull this top off. You can remove the entire hopper, fill it, and then put it back in that way. Now, periodically, the machine's going to ask you to empty the grounds container. So how you do that is very simple. Push your steam wand out of the way if it's equipped. Press the door and it'll pop open. Pull out your grounds container. You dump it into the trash or if you have a grounds container disposal. You wash it out, you clean it. Microfiber cloth works great. While it's out, you can even get inside of here and clean this grounds container housing. It's a good idea to keep it clean so that way you don't get a buildup. Anytime you place it, it's going to ask you if you've emptied the grounds container. It's important to say, yes, I have. If for whatever reason you pull out the grounds container and you don't empty it, you have to make sure you tell it no. It's important that you tell the machine exactly what you've done. Now, depending on how the technician sets up the machine to your liking, your drink selection can look any number of ways. The one-step functionality allows you to basically touch the screen and your drink is made. Um, we have it set up this way where if you go into espresso group, then you have your singles and doubles and decaf. Same thing with cafe latte. If you want a cafe latte, if you go into that group, we have regular or decaf. And cappuccino is the same, regular or decaf. We have it set up for groups. Americano could be set up for Americano or decaf. Or you could just have them all laid out individually, however you want. So when you go to make a drink, you just place your cup that it's sized for and on installation the technician will size the cup for you and you just choose what you want to do. Let's say we want Americano. This is how you go. You go into Americano and the machine handles the drink for you. When it's done, you have a fresh Americano.
Now this particular machine is set up so that our hot water and steam wand are on a separate screen. We can keep it on the same screen, just have to press that button there, and these options will be here all the time. So if I wanted hot water, I would choose hot water this way. If I wanted to use my steam wand, I would get my steam container full of milk, I would place it where it needs to be, and the machine is already set for temperature. So it'll shut her off around 69, 70 degrees Celsius, and I will place, uh, I'm sorry, I would press my option. And when it reaches temperature, it's going to shut off. It's important to blow out your steam wand or steam lance after every drink to keep it working properly. So the machine reminds us of that. What we do is we take our microfiber cloth that the barista has or whoever's operating the machine, and you just hold your microfiber cloth over it and you press start and it's going to purge and then shut off by itself. So that gets any milk deposits that are in here up around the steam sensor out. It's important that we always have a microfiber cloth, wipe it down after each one and purge it like the machine asked us to. In fact, the machine won't even let you move on unless you purge it. That's a great feature. The Molita CTA has some menu options that you should be aware of. Um, to access your menu options, we go into Unit. We have a few different things available. Clean touchscreen. So if you're going to clean this touchscreen, because after a day or half a day, it's going to get some fingerprints on it, maybe some milk or whatever, whoever's operating the machine. Just general dirt. You want to go into clean touchscreen, and you spray it down with your glass cleaner, you wipe it down, and once it's dry, you can follow the one, two, three, four, and it'll go back to your screen. If you don't go into this, and you try to clean it with the glass cleaner, it's going to select a drink, or the screen's going to pick up on your, it's going to sense your hand. So that's what that's for. Rinse mixer, if you want to rinse your, and it's a good practice to rinse your chocolate powder periodically, press rinse mixer, and throughout the day it'll run hot water through that mixing bowl. There's also a cleaning program, which we'll go over later on how to pull out that mixing bowl manually, which we should be doing every day as well. We have our cleaning options here, full system clean, which you can do halfway through the day, and at the end of the day, full system clean and switch off. And we'll go through that in a future video. On the right here, we have another option. This is how we confirm that we filled our hoppers. So, as you can see, our bean hop, well, you can't see because of the video, but the bean hoppers are full. Um, so we have to let it know that, all right? So if I touch that, I touch that, now I've indicated that it's full. This machine is set up for two milk. So it's gonna ask me, is type one full? Yes, type one is full. We're not using type two, but just for video purposes, that's how you would do it. Is chocolate full? Yes, I filled the chocolate. So I'm full of beans, full of chocolate, full of milk. I told the machine that, now I can save. And it's important to do that because if you don't tell it it's full after you fill it, it's going to ask for beans Maybe you run out. It says you run out, but you're, you're full of beans. So we've got to make sure we confirm everything. And that, those are the menu options that you should be aware of. You have to maintain your Melita CTA. It's got to look good, and there's cleaning cycles you have to go through. But I want to show you a couple things. You can use glass cleaner on the front. You can use some sort of glass cleaner and polish or whatever cleaner you want on the exterior of the machine. You want to keep it looking good. Also, inside the machine, microfiber works great for the nooks and crannies that could get dirty. Uh, you want to clean around the gasket here. If you want to pull out the hoppers and clean them, you can do so. It's a quarter turn. So if you quarter turn, you'll hear it's not closed. You can lift the hopper out, remove the beans, wash it by hand, dry it by hand, put it back in, and then quarter turn back and it drops your beans in place where they need to be. This is the drip tray, it is removable. So you can remove it, you can scrub it by hand, you can wash inside the here. You can, as we went through before, when you pull out the grounds, you can wipe inside the grounds container. Whatever you see needs to be clean. Under the nozzle can get dirty after some time. Uh, we'll go through a cleaning procedure on the steam wand, but maybe it'll need a little extra care so you can scrub that as well. You want to keep the machine, your investment, looking good. So those are some of the cleaning uh, 
exteriors that I wanted to point out. We'll go into the cleaning cycle next. If you use your steam wand regularly, you're going to need to clean it regularly. So how we do that is we take the cleaning, uh, the pitcher that you probably, if you have a separate pitcher you should use it, but here's the pitcher that we use to steam the milk with. We have cold water in here. We take a Melita cleaning tablet, which I will give you the part number and information on later. You drop it inside of here, you place your steam wand, make it a little bit higher than you would milk. So if you're used to steaming maybe the bottom half or bottom quarter, fill it up a little bit higher with water and put your tablet in there and go into go into your steam wand and activate it and that's going to get this water to the, the temperature your milk would be and the pill the tablet will dissolve and it'll eat away all of the deposits inside of the steam wand it's important to let it do that so once it reaches temperature you're going to want to let it sit now i shut it off early for purposes of the video but once it reaches temperature you're going to want to let it sit and then we can rinse this out we can fill it with fresh water and do the same thing you can even do it twice with fresh water because you want to make sure you get whatever that tablet is left over and the deposits cleaned so you clean it and then you want to rinse it out so that's how we clean the steam wand So now that we've soaked our tablet and let that run, I have a container here full of fresh water and the same thing but without the tablet. We'll let that shut off at its temperature and then we can dump that out and do it again like I said before to rinse it. Now at the end of the day, you're going to clean this machine because it's going to ask for it. If it's heavy use, you can even clean it halfway through a day like we had mentioned before. And as you know from before, all of our cleaning prompts are inside of here. So you have full system clean or full system clean and switch off. For the purpose of video, I'm going to do full system clean and switch off. So we'll follow that one. Full system clean and switch off. It's a smart machine. It knows what it needs, so it's going to tell us. Do you want to start the cleaning? Once we start the cleaning, it cannot be canceled. Yes, I want to start the cleaning. So I need to follow all the prompts. It's going to say empty the drawer. So if we open a ground drawer, we dump, and it's a good time to wash and clean with micro microfiber cloth and get in the, the ground container housing and clean. So once I put this back clean, it's going to confirm yes. Instant system cleaned. Might as well. That's 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 your powdered chocolate. Instant system installed. It wants to verify that the powdered chocolate is in place. We say yes. This one is asking for AMC cleaner, so that means it's time. AMC cleaner is an acidic milk cleaning packet. Now it's going to probably be set up for twice a week for this. Otherwise, we're going to use a tablet. And I'll zoom in on this and show you how to take care of that next. Because the system asks for AMC cleaner, we're going to use this packet. So what we do is we rip this packet open and we just put it into our cleaning container. Now just get yourself a large cleaning container, maybe a liter or so. We put the AMC powder in. If it's a normal cleaning day and it doesn't ask for AMC, you know, it's, going to, it's going to say is the cleaning tablet inserted. And that's when we just throw this in instead. You don't want to do them both at the same time. A regular cleaning is the tablet. The AMC prompt gets the powder. Whatever it asks for, we follow the instructions. So, we drop, if it's one milk, one tube. If it's two milk, two tubes. And we put those in there. Depending on, on the machine, if we use a two milk system, it's going to run both. If you use a one milk system, it's going to run one. So once we do that, we close this and we confirm, you can see over here, Yes, that was installed. Now let's follow the rest of the prompts. After we put our cleaning product in the milk container, the machine is going to ask, have we put the cleaning tablet? Now the cleaning tablet for the brewing unit is behind this screen. It's a quarter turn, you pull it out, you place your cleaning tablet in a little basket. Once you put it back in, you put, turn it back with the quarter turn, 
close the door. And it's going to want to verify that we did that. Well, yes, we did. So now you can see it's going into its cleaning program and it's going to give us a countdown before either we're ready to use it. In this case, we clean and switch off. So at the end, 11 minutes and 25 seconds, it's going to switch off and go back into sleep mode, how we found it at the beginning of the video. Instead of, you know, switching on, it's going to switch off. So it'll go through its cleaning and switch off process. Okay, while well, the Melita CTA rounds out its cleaning cycle and goes to its switch off process, I just wanted to show you the cleaning products that we used. These are the multi-tablets. These tablets are used for the brewing system and for the milk system. And this is the AMC cleaner. It's an acidic milk delimer that we use twice a week when the machine prompts us to only. Never combine the two. See the machine, because I chose clean and switch off, is going through its switch off process. And I'll flash the part numbers along the bottom of the screen. Thank you. Have fun with your CTA.